Excuse me, do you sell obsidian? Why, yes. <laughs> I've got a chunk for sale right over there. Perfect. Is that the only one, though? We actually need two. Hmm. That might be tough. Uh, tell you what, I'll take a look through these boxes over here and, and we'll see what we can find. Well, would you look at that? I did bring an extra. <laughs> here you go, young lady. How does it look? If you hadn't shown up, these stones would have just sat here collecting dust. I'll take 3,000 more of for both. Here you go. By the way, I heard you mention Bichama just now. You run in an errand for him then? How's he doing? Malko's been gone for five years now. It's about time he started to move forward. Do you know what happened between them? I heard about it in passing while I was out drinking one night. But I don't know all the details. Michama and Melko grew up together, and even made a name for themselves together. Melko was an amazing fighter, capable of knocking out multiple opponents in a single hit, while Vichama excelled at scouting and analyzing the battlefield. The two made an excellent team, and managed to beat back the Abyss several times. Five years ago, they both emerged triumphant in the pilgrimage and were placed on the same team to fight the Abyss. But on the eve of battle, the Abyss launched an attack on their tribe, and Bichama suffered an injury to his leg while attempting to rescue someone. The team agreed that he couldn't fight the Abyss in his condition. Bichama didn't argue. He knew going to the front lines with an injured leg would make him a burden in battle. So they raised the issue with the Pyro Archon, and she agreed to let him stay behind. It's just... Melko and the others ended up facing hordes of abyssal monsters in numbers that far exceeded anyone's expectations. The team made an error in judgment, and they fell to the onslaught. Vichama went into a deep depression after that. He blames himself for everything. Oh, you're not wrong. But it's possible he chooses to blame himself. Not because he did something wrong, but because he wasn't able to do anything at all. I've tried convincing him to move forward. To stop uh, dwelling on the past. But the shadow of Malko's death hangs over him still. The Abyss has caused so much suffering. And some wounds never heal. I wish there was something he could do to make himself feel better, but... Uh, anyway, that's the gist of it. Maybe you could help him talk things through sometime. I would really appreciate it. <laughs>